Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Electronics Maddy. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to create a project in IndraWorks. In case you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe to it so that you'll be getting the videos that we post regularly. Alright, let's get started. So here we are in IndraWorks Engineering Start Screen window. So in order to create a project at the first place, click on File and go to New and select Project. Over here you will be getting a new window and uh, you can give the name of the project that you want it to. So I'll be giving it as test2. So be very careful, we're not supposed to uh, give any special characters other than underscore. You're not supposed to start the project with a numerical like uh, a number uh, with respect to the name is concerned. So in case you do that, it will be throwing you an error and it will not be accepting the project. Choose the directory where you want to save this project at and once that is done, click on OK. So you see the project being created over here so by the name test2 so th this is the file that we have created and uh, over here we have the library with respect to the hardware modules so this is totally depending upon what hardware module that you have so i'll do it specifically with respect to indralogic l10 system so what we are supposed to do is copy this library function and paste this uh, by right clicking on this uh, in the project so what happens is there's a new window that opens up and you have to configure the hardware based on the requirements so now I'll be clicking on next and uh, over here you will be uh, seeing another window so this is basically uh, in order to configure the hardware module but I'm only going to demonstrate with respect to the simulation aspect so we'll be clicking on next so once that is done uh, there will be a new window that opens up and over here click on new so we have to enable a communication protocol so these are the communication parameters so click on ok and here you can see a lot of uh, so the focus here is in case you want to connect to a specific IP address you can type in your IP address over here but over over here I'm not going to do any changes click on OK and click on finish so once this is done it will be creating a profile uh, over here and it is configuring the project that you have created you it will be generating a PLC underscore prag so that is uh, one of the most important aspects with respect to the project so I'll be showing that as well so over here you see there is Indra logic L10 uh, project that is created so you can expand this expand POUs and over here you will be arriving at this point PLC program so over here, uh, this is a PLC underscore program. This is the place where we are supposed to uh, write the logic or uh, program it. So double click on this. So there will be another window that is opening up. So it does take some time to open. So you are into a new window altogether. And there are certain steps to be followed over here as well. At the first place, uh, here is the program window so it depends on what type of program that you want to uh, like type in or uh, functionality based on what type of program that you want to write over here so I will be focusing on ladder logics so ladder diagrams to be specific so first go to project rebuild all so then go to plc underscore program right click and convert object so over here it will basically give you the target language so click on ladder diagram so ld stands for ladder diagrams and click on ok so once that is done the window actually closes up so we need to double click on this in order to get to program uh, with respect to ladder diagrams so now what we are supposed to do is just keep uh, the mouse in this particular position and click on this particular place and we'll be adding a uh, new layer to it so once that is done now we'll be return uh, we'll be coming back to this place and delete it because we see a written uh, function over here so we don't want that so we only want to uh, write programs with respect to uh, the logic that we're going to define so that is why we will be deleting that now what we are supposed to do is for example just to demonstrate so add a contact over here give that as input say a1 and uh, click on uh, enter and click on OK so over here if you have uh, to configure it with respect to the hardware module uh, you have to enter the address and all but since this is only simulation we are not going to be focusing on that so click on OK again uh, we will be clicking on this and this will be uh, A2 so we can uh, click on enter once that is done so now if you uh, want uh, a coil based on your requirement uh, you can add that as well over here so i will be giving this as output and uh, once that is done 
click on enter again click on ok so this is how we will be uh, placing the ladder logics ladder diagrams to be precise and we will be uh, configuring it for different values so now what we are supposed to do in order to run this first we have to enter into simulation mode because I'm not doing it with respect to hardware I'm only focusing with respect to simulation so now once that is done click on login so once you are entered into simulation mode click on login and this is actually an AND gate isn't it so so in order to define this what we are supposed to do is uh, double click on this this will change uh, the condition based on uh, what we are supposed to select so when both are true what should happen so we have to run the program at the first place and then go to uh, this uh, online and click on force values corresponding to the inputs like if both the inputs are true the output is true the coil is energized now if you want to release this release by double clicking on it and if one of the inputs is given as false then uh, you can again go to online and uh, force values and you see the output changing it to false so this is basically and get and this is how you actually create a project so I hope uh, creating the project and doing a simple ladder logic uh, program is understood in case you have any questions feel free to reach out by typing in your questions in the comment section below if you like this video please do like it share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates thanks for watching this video meet you guys in another video thank you